Hi guys, welcome back. You know, I'm here at home and I just feel in my heart that um, I need to do this. I know I've been talking to you guys about, you know, just changing the way you think and just trying to change the music that you listen to and maybe the movies. And, you know, you have children, you know, to think about your children because, you know, your words have power and all that will affect your spirit and all that will bring doors for the enemy to bring a lot of stuff to you you know I keep mentioning depression um, or insecurities or 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 you know addictions you know because you just feel so empty then when you start trying to fill that emptiness with maybe movies or, or music um, or just playing those horrible games that they're making now which is so much killing um, all that you're opening doors for the enemy to just come right in and and a lot of bad things could happen to you to your family to your children so i just really feel in my heart that you know if you're tired of just going in circles if you're tired of just trying to um to be better but you can if you're just if you're battling with something bad um it could be an addiction or maybe if you're just battling with depression or or just that emptiness or you just feel lost you feel like you don't belong here I'm telling you God is the answer Jesus is the answer and I invite you to invite him into your life you know he will change your life completely you're not going to have any regrets you know your life will be an adventure you know you will have that peace you know Everywhere you go, he promises that he will be with you and he will help you get over a lot of things. You know, if you start, if you keep thinking that you're not going to get out of it, that's bad thinking. That's the enemy wanting you to think that. Like I used to think that I could not change, that I couldn't do a lot of things. But yes, I can. You know, I'm not perfect and I'm putting myself here on YouTube to try to tell you that you're not alone. Okay, I was, I struggle with a lot of things, but I care. You know, if you think that nobody cares, I care. Jesus care. You know, this is why he puts this in my heart to speak to you because he cares for you. He doesn't want you to suffer. He doesn't want you to go through this. You know, if, if you understand and accept that he came to this world to die for us, he took all your issues and all your sickness and whatever it is that you're struggling with he already took that on himself and he died for you at the cross so he could give you freedom so you could be free so you could have a life of peace and happiness and then one day the reward to be in a place where there's no sickness and no and no um darkness but just you know to just all love and 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 peace and 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 so many people you know will 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 be there doing the same thing which is just what we were created to 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 do to to be happy to love god for him to love us and just get out of this mess you know if you're in a mess just recognize that you're in the mess and then you need jesus and once you let him in i'm telling you your life will change you have to let him in. You know, don't keep ignoring him. So let's pray together. If you want to, if you want Jesus to come into your life, we can pray together and then I will pray for you when I'm done. So say, Jesus, thank you for dying for me. I recognize that I don't deserve it. But I thank you, Father, that you love me. So please come into my life and forgive my sins. Come into my life and, and help me to change. Thank you, Father, for dying that horrible death for me out of love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for sending your only son to die for me. I'm sorry that I've done all these things. I'm sorry that I've, I have offended you. But please come into my life. I cannot do it on my own. In Jesus' name, amen. That was awesome. If you did that prayer, I'm telling you, he will take over now. But just, just again, just seek him, you know. Get a Bible. Start um, look, um, 
looking for for good music that will lift you up that will teach you um you know different things you know i when i start listening to for example um jesus culture and and i started listening to all their songs you know you know they have a calling you know a, a calling of of worshiping and leading people to worship and i just started feeling this love for him i just started feeling this hunger to 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 worship him to seek him to to find out about his love and i'm just i would just completely change it's completely changed we just have to be willing so now i'm going to pray for you um, you know, God, God, thank you so much for putting this in my heart to do. You know, I'm not perfect, and I recognize that because I cannot do anything without you. But I care, and I just want you to use me to help someone. And I thank you, Father, for putting that in my heart because that's what you did when you came here. You, you came here in humbleness. You just do. You care for others. You loved others, and I just, I just want you to use me. And I. I pray for every person that is watching this, Father. I pray that you will give them the strength to overcome things, that you will give them to strength, um, the, the strength to make decisions, to to push out of their lives what's, what's no good, that you will fill them with your peace, that you will fill them with your love, and that you will guide them, Jesus. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father. Bless them, bless their families, protect them. I pray salvation over their families, healing of their spirit. If they're struggling with addictions, if they're struggling with depression, God, I pray that you will touch them and you will bring them to your light. You will bring them out of darkness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you guys so much. I think now I can definitely feel better and go to sleep. So thank you. Have a great night. God bless you.